During the last couple of months, we've heard from many of our viewers about driving change on our roads, and one of them, a mother mourning the loss of her teenage son who died in a deadly crash just a few months ago. Investigative reporter Patrick Nelson adds her story on how she was able to actually work with News 5 to drive change. Patrick? Robin Elizabeth, let's set the scene for our viewers here. This story takes us out to the rural part of El Paso County, all the way outside of the Springs here, Judge Orr Road and Ellicott Highway. Now in October of last year, an 18 year old driver new to the area was killed at this intersection. And the problem was he was treating this intersection as a four way stop instead of a two way stop and pulled out in front of a large truck. Now the driver of that Jeep you saw there was Charlie McDuff. His mother is heartbroken by his loss, but showed incredible courage talking to us about the crash for the first time publicly, inspiring change that she says will save lives. We have an urgent message about your son. El Paso County is trying to reach you. You know, I dropped the phone. I knew what it meant. <laughs> He was only 18, you know, he was my only son. After losing her son in a deadly crash last fall, Cheryl McDuff is speaking publicly for the first time. You have to put yourself in someone else's shoes because you never understand till it happens to you. And this child of mine was, could have been a, a brilliant person in our future. You know, he was so smart. The crash at the intersection of Ellicott Highway and Judge Orr Road happened in October of last year. Cheryl and her son were new to the area. She says Charlie treated the intersection as a four-way stop instead of a two-way stop, pulling out into oncoming traffic, ending his life. His car was hit and thrown into the field. Investigating the intersection for the first time back on February 21st, News 5 discovered one of the stop signs was near the ground detached from its post. And while there were flashing lights, there wasn't any signage indicating the traffic going 55 or faster on Ellicott Highway didn't stop. Through an open records request we filed with the Colorado State Patrol, we learned since 2012 there were 12 crashes at this intersection leading up to Charlie's deadly crash. Cheryl came to News 5 hoping Charlie's story could inspire change. It would give, put some pieces of my heart back together knowing that we prevented someone else from being hurt. I took the information we gathered at the scene to El Paso County Commissioner Mark Waller, who worked quickly to get county crews on the case. You know, my heart breaks for families like this. Uh, obviously, to have an 18-year-old son pass away, I have a 21-year-old son, and I couldn't imagine what it would be like in this circumstance to have one of my children pass away. I, I, my sister died in a car accident when she was 19 years old. Um, so I've a, a little bit of experience uh, dealing with these kind of tragedies. Within days, the intersection of Judge Orr Road and Ellicott Highway was transformed. The stop sign was returned to its post with new street signs, plus under the stop signs on each side of the intersection, some new signs warning drivers that cross traffic doesn't stop. We're all raising our families here. We all drive on these roads every day. And so th this is one of those circumstances where if you know, we can come together with private citizens, members of the media, and government officials to make our community a little bit safer, at least at one intersection. I think that's a really great thing, and we're all accomplishing the mission together, and so I appreciate that very much. For Cheryl McDuff, these changes are meaningful. She hopes these results will show others who may have experienced a tragedy on Colorado roads, you can speak up to drive change. I'm super happy that it's happened so quickly. I mean, my son died just over four months ago. And to have this happen, like, I feel like he's with us in spirit. Um, and that he doesn't, he wouldn't want to see anybody hurt, you know. So this is huge for me and my family. And I'm happy to report in addition to those new signs, county officials tell Cheryl that they're working to possibly add a memorial sign for Charlie at that intersection. And beyond that, traffic engineers are now reviewing all county intersections with those flashing lights to see if any other steps need to be taken 
to drive change. And this is exactly why we're doing right. this yes. series, is to hear from people like Cheryl, who would have never even spoke publicly about this, but look at the positive things Absolutely. that can come from it. Of course, we are so sorry for her loss, but also we're so proud to be able to partner with her to, to make this kind of change. Yeah, our heart breaks for her, but thank you for talking with us and reaching out so that we Absolutely. can all do this together. And that's what we want. So if you have any story ideas out there, things you see when you're out and about, email us, drivingchange at koaa.com.